All right, so that was the last progress shot. So this morning, woke up at 2.01. So I gained a good amount of weight in these last two weeks, but that's totally okay. Uh, I look pretty good actually for 200 pounds. I was thinking I was gonna be around probably 196, but 201. So took all the progress photos, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this uh, from Christian. He showed this in his prep videos that he keeps all of his progress photos and everything in notes. So I'm gonna be writing down daily what my weight is. I'm gonna be getting on the scale every single day. I'm not gonna do progress photos every single day. I will probably be doing that once a week because this took a long time. This took about 30 minutes and I need to go do some cardio. So it's gonna be very easy to keep up with as far as where my progress is and stuff. So I am currently sipping on a black coffee before going to do my morning cardio. I'm gonna do right at 35 minutes today up on the elliptical. I was gonna to go to the gym, but then the progress shots just took way too long. Now right now I'm doing fasted cardio and that's not because I think fasted cardio is any better than doing cardio at a different time of the day. It's just because I like getting it over with early on in the day. So before I do uh, my cardio, I will get a thing of water here and then I will mix one scoop of the Muscle Tech Amino Build and I'll sip on it throughout my cardio session. Now I don't take anything else before doing cardio besides a black coffee or if I wasn't gonna take a black coffee, I would be having this hydroxy cut by Muscle Tech. Now this is a fat burner and I'm not gonna add this in until about four weeks out for my contest because uh, I got this local show first and then after the local show, then I have the national show. So I want this to be like the last step. It's a great fat burner. I don't wanna start taking it too early where my body starts getting used to it. So I want it to have a really good effect once I start taking it. So that's the reason why I'm just gonna have a black coffee today. So when starting a cut, one of the most important things is your diet, if not the most important thing. And for me, I like to track everything on my fitness pal. Now I'm gonna go over my macros here. I already went over them in my last video, but because this is the very first vlog of this cut, let's go ahead and go over them again. So I'm starting off this cut with 2,700 calories. Now the macros is 236 grams of protein, carbs is 270 grams and fat is 75 grams. Now this is something that I can slowly start to taper down as the weeks go on when my progress starts to slow down. So for breakfast, I have two servings of the Kodiak cakes and I have half a cup of egg whites and then I'm also gonna have a black coffee. So I thought it'd be a good idea to show you exactly how I like to track everything in my fitness pal. It is super simple to use. So you guys are gonna be seeing everything that I see up on my phone screen. So all you have to do is click on diary and then you go to whatever meal this is, which is for me, meal one. Then you go to the bar scanner, get your food, you scan the item. Then I had two servings of Kodiak cakes. Then we're gonna add the egg whites, go to the bar scanner. I had two servings of egg whites. And there you go, it has all the calories up on the top. And then if you wanna see the total for the day, you go down to nutrition, click on that. It has everything that you've had so far. And then it has your goal to the right. Super simple to use. I highly recommend using this app. It's one that I've used for probably around eight years now. So I thought of one feature that a lot of people think is under their paid wall, and it's actually not. And that is how you can customize your own macros in MyFitnessPal. So all you have to do is click on more. Then you go under goals and then you'll see it under nutrition goals. You click on the calories, carbs, and protein, and then you can customize all your macros to your needs, and it's completely free. So now it's lunchtime, and this is also gonna be my pre-workout meal. I'm having two packets of this protein oatmeal. I already have it microwaved in this bowl. This is actually a lot of oatmeal. And then I'm gonna have a serving of this light plus fit Greek yogurt. So this has 14 grams of protein per serving and only 90 calories. 
have this in a separate bowl right here. And then I'm gonna let that digest for around 40 minutes and then we're gonna go hit a workout. All right, so now I'm all ready to go to the gym. I got my pre-workout, the Shatter Elite. Now, let me tell you, this is a great pre-workout. If you never tried this particular pre-workout, telling you, you need to. This has 350 milligrams of caffeine in it per scoop. And then L-citrulline has six grams and then beta alanine has 3.2 grams. So this is a stacked pre-workout. If you compare this to another pre-workout, I'm telling you, this is gonna beat it hands down. And then I've also taken Clear Muscle. This is something that I take three times a day in the morning and then pre-workout and then sometime later on in the afternoon. So I'm gonna sip on this. And then today is gonna be a shoulder day. Check out this new uh, stringer. So this is not out yet, but ZV is gonna be coming out, I think next week. I think it's gonna be June 13th is when uh, the shorts come out and then the stringers. And I really like ZV stringers that they came out with. Uh, they came out with some, I think a couple of years ago. And the reason why I like them so much is because it doesn't show nipple because a lot of stringers, they go too low and they show a lot of nipple and stuff. But I think these are like perfect. So they have a curved hem and with the shorts, they have two zip up pockets, two in the front, and then they have a regular back pocket. And the length for the shorts, I think are perfect. And they come in all different colors. So be looking for these to launch next week. Welcome back to another workout, guys. Let's go ahead and get started with the shoulder workout. So the very first exercise we have is seated dumbbell press. I did a total of five sets of around eight to 12 reps. So the very first set was 12 reps, and then I went up in weight, and then I was getting around eight reps on the very last set. After that, went into seated barbell press. I did another five sets on here, but I did something a little bit different. On the fourth set, I did a pause rest set. And what a pause rest is, you're going to rack the weight after hitting failure, and then you're going to rest for around 10 to 15 seconds and then you're going to pick the weight back up and try to squeeze out a couple more reps or uh, until failure and then on the last set the fifth set I did a double drop set and the set that you're watching right here this is the pause rest set so as you'll see uh, I go to failure to complete failure and then I rack the weight and then rest and then pick the weight back up and try to go for a couple more reps. Paul's rest sets, I've been incorporating a ton recently. It helps you get a little bit more volume in for that set. After that, went into leaning cable side raises. I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. On the last set, just did a single drop set. So what's great about cable leaning side raises is because it keeps tension in your shoulders throughout the whole range of motion. Because if you use dumbbells, uh, down at the bottom of the movement, you lose a lot of tension. But with cables, you're going to keep tension on those delts the whole entire time. After that, went into dumbbell front raises. Now, I was doing this alternating. So I went for four sets of around around 10 to 12 reps on each arm. And then when I would hit failure uh, alternating, then I would uh, do as many reps as I could do with the dumbbells together. And those were just partial reps for around like five reps, uh, just until I couldn't do anything else. Like it was a complete burnout. Now I would typically like throw in some triceps at the end of a shoulder workout, but because uh, the next day I did a whole arm workout at Wired Fitness here in Austin, that's the place that I go to and they hooked me up to electrodes. So I did a full workout. So I didn't want to be sore uh, going into that arm workout the very next day. So that's the reason why I didn't do any triceps and my forearm and kind of like my elbow area that I was complaining about uh, being hurt in my last video, it was kind of acting up and it really was acting up when I was doing the dumbbell pressing because when I would put the dumbbells in my lap, just stabilizing them, for whatever reason, my elbow did not like that at all. But the good news is I do believe it's starting to heal up because it's not hurting as much and it's been, I guess, what, like a week and five days uh, since, you know, I heard it and it is starting to feel better. It's not hurting throughout the day because before I didn't even have to work out. It was just hurting throughout the whole entire day. But now it only hurts when I'm actually uh, doing some kind of workout or something when I'm putting pressure on it. But it is starting to feel better, so I'm glad that it's not something too serious. Okay, now moving on to a superset for rear delts. It was incline bench, dumbbell, reverse flies. I did four sets of around 10 to 15 reps. Superset with rope face pulls. I did those four sets for around uh, 12 to 15 reps, somewhere in there. And then on the last set of both of these exercises was a double drop set. Now moving on to the last exercise. And this was a killer because this is an FST seven exercise. This is a training technique by Hani Rambod. So what you do is seven sets 
of a given exercise and you only rest for 30 seconds in between sets. So I decided to do it with dumbbell side raises. So I did those seven sets for around 10 to 12 reps. And let me tell you, when you actually time the sets, it is a killer. Like doing seven sets with only 30 second rest, uh, it will just drive so much blood into the muscle and the burn is unreal. But guys, that's the end of the workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, it's not going to be written down in the description box because I do want you guys to watch the whole entire video instead of just clicking on just for the workouts. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. All right, so post-workout, I'm taking the Celtec Hyperbuild. So this uh, creatine is discontinued. They no longer make this. So now they have Creator, which they had Creator for a long time. Uh, but uh, have like one more tub of this. So I'm gonna have this, and then I'm also gonna take one scoop of the Nitrotec Rip. This is just protein powder, and that is 30 grams of protein, and then about an hour, we're gonna eat some dinner. So Shelby took off to the gym, and I'm here watching the kids, and I've been trying to film a clip for around, I would say, 15 minutes, and each time I get close to finishing, one of them has to do something. So I'm just gonna wait till Shelby gets home so I can go upstairs. I'm telling you, it's just so hard to film with these little jokers. <laughs> hey, she is still sick. Look at that runny nose. Can you look at me? Yeah, still runny nose and she is coughing like crazy still. And then Brady is over here playing with flies. He catches flies and just holds them. Why, Brady? Why do you like flies so much? And they're in my house. They're in your house? Yeah, I I got, I kill them. And you they, kill them? Yeah, and they, they, they fly and they went where he house. Okay, wow. They're that fly. was a story right there. <laughs> That's the story? So Shelby's gonna be back probably around 30 minutes and the topic is gonna be on what the title is on this video and I'm gonna talk to you why I named it this. All right, so Shelby made it home and I ran upstairs so I could film this clip very quickly before having to eat dinner. So I wanna talk about the title of the video, Natty Road to Pro and why I named it this. So first off, I wanna go over what is being natural in my opinion. And that is someone that has never done TRT, any kind of test, which is TRT, but just lower dosage and any kind of SARMs, anything that's gonna mess with your hormones. That is what I call not being natural. Now, taking creatine, protein powder, uh, different supplements, in my opinion, that is completely natural to people to take supplements. But anything that's gonna mess with your hormones, I do not think that is natural. Now, I don't have anything against people that do take steroids, that is a preference of theirs. Now, I do have something against people that lie about it and say that they don't take steroids when they clearly do because it hurts the industry, honestly. And I heard someone about maybe three years ago, influencers say that you cannot make it in this industry unless you're on drugs. And when I heard that, that really hurt me because I was thinking of all the young people watching this influencer say that, and anyone that's wanting to stay natural and they're wanting to get in the industry, they're probably thinking, what in the world? Well, this is just pointless unless I get on drugs. And I'm here to tell you that you can make it in this industry being natural now. If your goal is to be Mr. Olympia or get on the stage as far as men's physique, any kind of really IFBB uh, pro shows, you're gonna have to get on drugs to tell you the truth. But if you're wanting to make a living in the industry and have a big social media presence, you don't have to be on drugs. I am 100% lifetime natural, believe it or not. And a lot of people are gonna go in the comment section and say, you know, that is such a lie. Okay, that's totally fine, that's your opinion. But I wanted to do this the most healthy way when I started 15 plus years ago. I was determined that I was not gonna do any kind of drugs, anything that was gonna affect me when I get older. So if I drop dead tomorrow and have a heart attack, you know, because that can happen still, even though I'm natural. But my family, Shelby, all my family members and stuff, know that it's not because of something that I was taking as far as drugs and stuff like that. Uh, so I wanted to do it the most healthy way that I knew, and that is not taking steroids. Now, I'm not saying I won't ever take like TRT later down the road when I need it, because I'm not really sure right now what I'm gonna do when I get older, but I'm just saying right now, during this time, I have never taken anything that has affected my hormones. 
uh, any kind of SARMs, uh, anything like that. And I think I need to speak on it more often so that I can encourage people because I really don't like talking about it that much, but then I was thinking about it and I need to start encouraging people to stay natural uh, because I think it's one of those things that I have a responsibility to keep reminding people that being natural is okay and you can make a living in this industry being natural and you can build a great physique being natural. So that's the reason why I named uh, this series Natty Road to Pro. I just want to get on here and encourage people because I know I need encouragement because when I go through Instagram and see all these huge people that are on, you know, who knows what, you know, it does get depressing when I've been working out for 15 plus years and I'm still uh, gaining only maybe half a pound to a pound a year of muscle and that is it. And that's how it's been for years and years and years. And I still work out every single day, super, super hard at diet extremely hard year round and seeing these small results it would be so easy to jump on you know all these drugs and stuff and see major progress because let me tell you it's very tempting but i constantly have to remind myself why i never did drugs in the first place tonight we are having pokey bowls kenley is it good brady is it good yeah so we have some avocado, some shrimp, and I got some uh, trout, uh, corn, uh, cucumber, and seaweed salad, and a little bit of lettuce on the bottom, and some rice, and some edamame. 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 Thank you. <laughs> it looks delicious. And then Shelby makes this sauce with this sriracha sauce and some, uh, what, low-fat uh, miracle. miracle Whip. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Delicious. Say that again. So now we're up in my office and this is something we do every single time before I post a video. So Shelby goes over my vlog before it goes live. She checks everything and makes sure that I don't have any mess ups because a lot of the times I can uh, watch the whole entire video, edit the whole entire video and just somehow miss something that I said something wrong or something. So she goes over and kind of just scans over it before it goes live. Stop. What do you think of that, Kenley? Stop. Is that funny? Is that funny now? <laughs> At least she sees the humor in it now. <laughs> so we put the kids down for bed and now it's 9.30 and I'm still up here working on a workout because I gotta post it tomorrow morning. Now the hardest part about doing daily workouts is finding good royalty free music to put on the workouts. I joined all kinds of different sites but it is still hard to find. But after doing this, I'm gonna go downstairs and watch an episode with Shelby of a TV show and then go to bed. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. All right, guys, peace. Uh, keeps all of his product photos. Product photos. All right, go back in. Uh, they have uh, cuffed. No, but they have. Um, what is that? Uh, I have no idea. What's that called? <laughs> I don't know where to start and start now. Colors, so be looking for this to a lot. Start over. Um, next week, I got. Stop it. Pause. They come in all different colors, so be looking for it to. Brady. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's okay. At, le at least she sees. <laughs>